What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games from tabletop to video games. And today's episode we're reviewing the Color Top McFallen Story number 10 Spawn Reborn. Now, Spawn was created by Tom McFallen, who is also known for creating one of Spider-Man's iconic villains, Venom. Now, if you're not familiar with McFallen's stories, well, what they lack in articulation, they sure make up for it in aesthetics. These figures were meant for collectors only and meant to be displayed. Not to play with, they're almost like mini statues. Now for the market price for this specific figure is about $100 which is a big difference from when I buy a Toys R Us for $10. But that is expected with most collectibles always increasing in value whenever there is a film in production. So right now they are working on making another Spawn film. And we see from other collectibles, from Transformers, Star Wars, and even Pokemon, that whenever a movie's in production, all the collectibles increase in value. So with that being said, let's get into the review. Here is the Spawn Rebirth. So right away, we're going to go straight into the box to get a closer look. So we have a nice comic book image of Spawn at the top. We have like Spawn over here, side. Spawn again, color top, number 10. Another spawn over here, spawn rebirth. Then we have some images, so pretty nice. So let's put this and let's talk about this figure. So it does come with two guns that you could put in the hands and a base that you're going to see right here. Okay, very nice base. Now, the issue with this is definitely, if you look at the both the guns, it is so tight to put the in to the point that you have to almost break the fingers just to shove it in. And there's been a lot of issues that people had with this figure as well. Because, like I said, with uh, McFarlane Stories, they don't have that much articulations, but there is a lot of issues with this specific figure because the arms do break and there's been many cases so the reason the main arm that always breaks is actually this one right here now you would assume that since this one could go semi straight a bit not really fully all the way uh, a lot of people tried to force this side and snapping it off and easily to unpeg but it's only to actually you could buy some this one could barely move actually on this one so I won't even just there you go semi straight and then you could do semi bend now when we display it with the base there's a, a pour over here and then with the peg over here we're going to try to put it in there we go okay so this looks extremely nice i i like it display like this is perfect like they did an amazing job if we look all around the cape or is amazing looking when it comes to like spawn figures they always do a great job okay it looks amazing there is no complaint of aesthetics it looks amazing let's go into with articulation though so both wrists actually do rotate, as you can see, even this side. Both biceps could go side to side. They get each bend this one. It's very tight, so could go down, could go up that way. Not, not that much, but this could only go upwards, and if you rotate it, it could go a bit more. The head does move. It's a very tight figure. Uh, the waist does move as well, but it doesn't really go with the pattern under the belt, so you kind of want to keep it displaced. Uh, there is no movements for the legs, but... If we just take a closer look at this uh, head sculpt, it looks amazing. The whole cape, everything. Like, let's just see. This just looks uh, ridiculous. Even the bullets, all the spikes. Let's just go 
this is amazing. The chains, surprisingly, these chains are plastic. A lot of his figures actually are metal. So that was kind of surprising to see that they did plastic chains. Okay, then we have the feet, the like spikes everywhere. Amazing. Let's go. The cape looks amazing. Like, there's no complaint for like a statue. This is what I mean by most McFarlane figures are actually statues. So for just displaying, it looks amazing. There is no complaint. This figure actually looks like perfect. So definitely would recommend to get it. But also I forgot to mention, but we also have a few spoilers and surprises for all the spawn friends that we have. So let's get to it. And here we have all sealed spawn figures that I am planning of doing box openings on this channel. Now, if you are a big spawn fan and you like really old figures and want to see them to be open on the channel, these are what I have in store for you guys. Now I do have other spawn figures that I'm going to be reviewing on the channel as, as well, but for the seal ones, these are the golden figures that I'm actually planning. Now, for the special edition, and these and a lot of these are actually pretty old too. But especially Angela, the special limited edition one. That one, I'm hoping to do like an opening of that once I reach a hundred subscribers. Then I'm definitely going to do an opening of that one. And all the other ones, all planning. But this is what you can do. You could comment down below of how I should open these figures. So I just rip it open or so I like take a Zacto knife and do like incisions just so it still keeps the boxes and I can still hang it and it's not an issue. That I'll let you decide. Now with that being said, that's it for the review. That's it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below how I should open these sealed figures. And if you guys want to see more products that we have planned to open on this channel or to do reviews, you can follow me on my Instagram at Vaughn Gear. Till next time, I'm Vaughn and this was the Gear Channel.